So what are we looking to accomplish with our photography? What are our creative goals? What camera do you use? How does your camera help accomplish your creative goals? Whether you feel at home with a Leica M6 or you go out and shoot nature photography with a Nikon D500, it doesn't really matter. We have goals and conscious or unconscious, the camera gear we select tends to reflect those goals, which is why my favorite digital camera is the Fujifilm X-E4. And apparently you can't find them anymore. Fuji discontinued them a few months ago, hence why when you go look for one, if you can find one, the prices tend to be inflated from their original retail price. I got mine on release day, so I got lucky and I got the body for like 850 and the lens that came with it. I think total I paid a thousand bucks for it. I was seeing some hype around it and I actually pre-ordered it. So I've had it since 2021. I've been using it pretty steadily for the past three years. But it's the first camera I've ever bought that's actually increased in value since buying it. And people have found me through this channel and follow my videos you probably think of me predominantly as a film photographer but i've fluctuated here and there i've gone through long seasons where i shot only digital and i've gone through long seasons where i shoot only film and sometimes i do both at the same time i shoot digital a lot for client work and i shoot a lot of film for my stuff but i also love pulling this bad boy out from time to time as well and i i also use it for video sometimes too but ultimately mirrorless cameras have kind of killed my interest in digital photography just because of the simple fact they're too good they're just they make everything easy and that removes a lot of the limitations that i feel like drives my creativity it's funny film photographers are always on the search for a perfect digital camera that feels like a film camera and does all the things that a film camera does limits wise but but is cheaper to shoot and i think that's the hope is that film photography is so expensive that we just want a camera that we can shoot ad infinitum without worrying about the price of film and honestly fuji's cameras tend to be a good fit for that desire they do a good job with adding film simulations and software that makes photography fun and gives you interesting ideas they have great features like double exposure which i'll get to in a second but also like look at this thing it's so sleek and sexy it looks like a retro rangefinder and i think that's why people like the fuji x100v as well is because it looks like a classic rangefinder style camera but ultimately i think the xe4 is better than the x100v for a couple reasons number one is i think the price at least at the time was made a lot more sense because because at the time when i bought the fuji xe4 it was 850 dollars and I could put on whatever lens I wanted. At the time, the Fuji X100Vs, they were a little easier to get back then, but I think they were still like 1400 bucks for a camera that had a fixed 23 millimeter lens. And I personally can't stand that focal length when it's on a crop sensor. And so I didn't understand the price. I mean, I get it kind of, it's a specialized thing, but I didn't really get the price for the X100V, XE4 made a lot more sense. But at the end of the day, I mean, while it is a good alternative to a film camera, it's no slouch. In last week's video, I posted uh, a clip of me hanging a 60 inch by 40 inch print with a red Coca-Cola truck on it that I shot just walking down the street downtown with the Fujifilm XE4. And I printed it huge. You could look at it up close or far away. It would still look sharp as a tack and really good. So it's 25 megapixels. It's just proof that 25 megapixels is enough, even on a crop sensor, and you can do whatever you want with it. It's just so powerful, even though it's tiny and film photographers tout these kind of cameras as a good alternative to film. It's just as powerful as all the other mirrorless cameras out there. And because it's so good, I've had to kind of dirty it up a little bit. So I often shoot with a TT Artisan's 35 millimeter 
1.95 lens that is manual focus and I just love the feel of it. It's really smooth. I love the aperture ring on it. It just, it feels like I'm using a film camera when I have that lens on and it does slow me down a bit. So I'm not just running and gunning like you tend to do with digital cameras. But I also use a 16 millimeter Fujifilm lens that I really love too, mostly for the focal length because I think it's equivalent close to a actual like 24 millimeter just because of the crop sensor. It's a nice wide lens that's really fun to use and really fun to document things with, honestly. I also tend to shoot at ISO 800 to kind of simulate my favorite film stocks and maybe try to get some noise and grain in some of the photos. Otherwise, it's just going to be a pretty clinical image similar to what you get with every other digital camera. Fujifilm colors aside, I think Fujifilm colors are great, but again, it's still really sharp and really incredible. That's the struggle for me ultimately though. I, I want a camera with limits and when I got the Fuji X-C4, I realized, oh, this camera looks really cool. It takes photos like every other digital camera and due to that, it took me a year to kind of really get a flow with it. I really didn't love using it until I kind of figured out how I needed to use it for my own work. And honestly, I didn't really get a super good flow with this camera until earlier this year. And a lot of the times in order to curb a lot of the work of digital cameras, you have to do a lot of work in post, which is not really why I got into photography in the first place. I got into photography so I could be out and about and carry my camera around and do a lot of cool, interesting things in camera, which is kind of ironic since all I do is edit YouTube videos now. But I'm hoping to get to a place that if I shoot with my Fuji or shoot with my Nikon FE, you will have a hard time knowing which one I was shooting with because all my work is conceptually cohesive. That's what I'm looking to do. So any camera I buy from here on out has to fit my certain qualifications for what I personally need in a camera with my creative pursuits. And honestly, just like my Nikon FE, what really sells me on the Fujifilm X-E4 is the fluidity of the double exposure mode. In fact, I hardly take it off this mode. It's almost always on double exposure mode. And unfortunately, yes, double exposure mode only works with JPEGs as far as double exposures go, which, you know, it can be annoying to some people, but again, it's those limits that I think are interesting. And, you know, a 35 millimeter negative is not an enormous file. So you kind of have similar constraints with film and digital in that situation. Limits are good. And just because there's a treasure trove of features available in modern digital cameras, it doesn't mean we have to use them. We only need to use the features we need to use and everything else kind of doesn't matter. All the other stuff's unimportant. But we only get there if we understand what we are looking for first. Modern mirrorless cameras give us way too many options that I think can make it tough for beginners to know where to start. And the answer to that is, at least for me, to go down a bunch of different paths and try stuff out until you can pick up a camera and know exactly how to set it up the way you like. And I used to be enamored with every new camera or piece of tech on the market until I found a focus in my work. And now I'm only interested in the things that can help me accomplish my creative and artistic goals. This camera is almost three years old and I still love it. And I'm probably gonna use this thing just like my Tacoma until the wheels fall off. And while I believe this is a better camera than the X100V simply from freeing you from the weird prison that is that 23 millimeter lens on a crop sensor. I'm gonna be honest, I just don't like 35 millimeter generally as a focal length. It's not zoomed in enough or wide enough to really capture my interests in what I'm looking to shoot with my camera. It feels like a prison to me, largely. And I say one of my favorite lenses on my Fujifilm X-E4 is a 35 millimeter, but remember it's crop sensor, so it's a little more zoomed in. I think whatever camera you gravitate towards is important for the work you want to make. So you don't have to listen to my dumb opinion about any of this. But you can follow me on Instagram at Will Malone. You can follow my Polaroid Instagram account at RoydRage72. And please subscribe if you want to keep hearing me complain about how cameras are just too good these days.